is techie in the details, guys. That's crazy. So what happened to the, the, the river? Was that a river? Kind of creepy. <laughs> Kind of creepy, but also very interesting. We had a river right beside our house. Mm -hmm. A nice little town. A touch of the beach. <laughs> <laughs> the windows, like those wooden, wooden windows that you would just push out. Those were the loading places. Hey my lovelies, Hi. welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Mel and today, oops, <laughs> sorry, today we are taking you on a little tour in the old part of our city it's called the old old city um and yeah you're going to see my primary school you're going to see a church that mommy goes to to talk to her who is in the church right here oh my my black maria exactly there's a black maria in there that she feels extremely connected to yeah even though that is not her childhood church because we're going to also show you her childhood church and um yeah we're just going to show you a bit of the building and the, the history that you can see from you know the exterior of the buildings and stuff like that so yeah if you're interested in seeing that then please stay tuned all right so this is the first spot we're going to show you this is right outside of our house but as you can see, there's some fencing going on right here. And this is because, um, hold on, let the cars pass. This is because they are setting up for the Christmas market. Because every year in end of November until the end of December, here in Germany, they have a big christmas market where they you know set up a bunch of stalls with you know um glühwein. with glühwein which is hot wine um then they also Not have worse. you're just talking about food most of the stalls have like you know jewelry or gifts that you can basically buy for as Chris, um, christmas presents and stuff like that so this is the exterior of the church that mommy you know has her black maria in um so we would you know head in there it's and actually, show you guys it is actually an old monastery here those buildings yeah including that and that was their church yeah and this is only a small part of it here the entry
where we are going now you will see some more of the outside and this guys over here was my primary school so you know it will have you it will come up in story times <laughs> but this was my you know actual primary school so you can see the old this was part of the monastery right yeah so this was part of the monastery and you know <coughs> yeah so this was my old um primary school and back here there is the gym section of the school and stuff like that and yeah it's basically all connected as you can see up here as well yeah this is the church that's the bell tower okay yes wake me up <laughs> it's really really loud So guys it is 6 p.m. right now so you know they're they're hitting how do you call it what do they do hmm? what are they doing ring the bell oh yeah <laughs> ring the bell I was guys my tired <laughs> my 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 language skills are on um slow right now but this is what it sounds like and that's every day in the morning i think 7 a.m and they have some time in the day as well and then 6 p.m but as you can see here you know it's all connected or it was once all you know one piece and then here you have these colored windows you can't really see it from this side right now maybe from the other side but yeah and then you have this little walk through area so you can see it has like this medieval look still yeah. <laughs> so this is the church, is the church as well they put a little modern thing there so let me see i mean you still can't really see the colors of the the glass um but yeah this is like the other side and you can see it's quite big so it goes all the way back there so it's really really big all right so we're going to go head more to the shopping center part of the old city yeah and just like a little bit of history here in world war ii in 1944 bielefeld had one big big bomb attack and um, most of our old buildings were destroyed. Uh -huh. I mean, the whole in center here, outside of Bielefeld too, the house where we lived, the initial house where we lived, the initial house was bombed down. That's why they rebuilt it, and and I moved in that house as a baby. Uh -huh. uh, only a very few old buildings are left from the from before the World War Two. It was really traumatic because they practically destroyed the whole town. Yeah. And when I was a small child, we had a lot of uh, uh, debris still lying around, a lot of empty spaces. Mm -hmm. Of course, in between, they've now by now everything is built again. Yeah. But that is why we have modern buildings in between, mostly or mixed yeah. with the others. So you can to... imagine anything that you see modern mm -hmm. was built after. Been before yeah so this is one of the examples of a building so what you will see is that a lot of them have like you know some form of um what do you call those mommy the those designs oh, uh, yeah so they're on the 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 corn as well and then you they always have like some form of gold gold um you know you can see the massive gold stones, as accessory yeah. and a lot of massive stones and stuff so this store personally is here since 
1818 so they have in 2018 they celebrated 200 years so you can see that it's definitely here since before the world war <laughs> and then here we're going to see yeah these are more of the modern ones um and when we get closer to back there you will see more so guys this is an example of one of those stalls for the christmas market so you know it's nothing too big or anything it's just like a nice small little hut and you know when it's time to open they just bring up all these side windows or um boards and then you can see all within the stall and then you know this is supposed to be a honey stand right wasn't no, it Well, we're not sure what's in there, but normally most people have like their, their, you know, set standpoint. So each year they come back to the same spot. But this is an example of one of those little huts. And, you know, you have them spread all over the city in the old part of the city and the new part of the city. And then we have this old building as well. Up there you can see a lot of details. You see that, guys? lots and lots of details even the windows like those wooden wooden windows that you would just push out mommy yeah yeah those were the loading places basically they would show down things oh. and, uh, and uh, this was a tobacco uh, panda at one point in time the house was built in anno domini m XXX, which is 1530. Mm -hmm. so 1530, this, this was built. It, was, it, it got damaged in the war, but they kind of rebuilt it as much as possible in the original. Mm -hmm. And here they have some information about it. what she basically said a while ago in 1530 and that it was a tobacco um, factory and stuff like that so in 1946-47 it was you know um, rebuilt there is a tile a tile is it a store Let's see or if it is open no it is a hall away from the house mm -hmm. Originally, people used to live here, of oh. course, as well. It was not only a uh, business place, but it was a living place. Mm -hmm. So, this is an example of the tile place. So, here you can see, like, they um, are from the 16th to 18th century. So you can see a lot of imagery on them and down here I think this is supposed to be I don't even know <laughs> that is a horse um, you know I guess goat cows and stuff like that so but these are like look how detailed they are and they were originally made in Holland in a town called Delft mm -hmm. and they were famous and are still famous for their tiles mm -hmm. up to today mm -hmm. and but this is really I mean you can imagine very very old and those are uh, insignia from different different um, how you call it Herzog Duke Duke areas for example Sachsen mining in another Sachsen um, oh, Munich and Pfizing uh, mines and look there's a there's a black yeah box temple with box D black woman on there yep so it goes all the way up and and around. Around. But we cannot go there because there are some business places up there. 
But this is really historical again. And these tiles have a different color. But just taking the details, guys. Yeah, That's crazy. There's basically mm -hmm. okay. um, there's basically like a storytelling in these tiles. So really, really pretty. And you know it just goes all the way around. But all the upstairs places are used by business places. So I mean yeah. it is a functioning house still, it's not a museum or anything. Yeah. So this here is a private bank guys. As you can see there's a lot of gold writing on it as well. Um it actually just got renovated. Yeah, it just just got renovated. So here is where all the rich people from Bielefeld and around uh, put their money. No, seriously. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Um, but yeah. And then even the door that they have is super interesting. Look at that. It's like a massive metal door with details in it. So that's really, really nice. This is it from a wider angle. And that you know. building, for example, is from 1593, built by Johann Brunger. So this building here is from 1593. This is about the same time. I do not see a number. But just the structure of it, it is all. about the same time. Yeah. All of them were built in the 1500s. Yeah. Over on this side, we have some more older buildings. Um, this is our main theater. Uh -huh. That's the Arca, the town theater. And that used to be the uh, council building, which later on was replaced by that modern thing here. This is still the council building, but mostly people get married in there. Oh, they get married in there? Yep. It's the Standesamt. I didn't know that. Yeah, and often you see people on the steps like with flowers and nice clothing and taking pictures and stuff. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, we'll get a closer look. <coughs> this is the side of the building, guys. And we're going to show you the front section. And at the base of this here, there's a restaurant. There used to be an Irish pub in there. And Mayumi actually worked in this Irish pub. But now Irish pub is somewhere else and I don't... Look how they uh, kind of connected it to old and the new. Yeah. That's <laughs> put together. They connected it all together. I couldn't find any number of the years when this was built other than the theater. So as you can see, there's like a lot of details on these houses, man. Look at those faces alone. Kind of creepy. <laughs> kind of creepy, but also very interesting. Over this side, his nose broke off. But it's the same person, right? He lost his nose. Or probably they're like brothers. Because they, they resemble, but yeah. they don't look the same. I don't know. And this is, what was this building again? This is the, uh, where you can get married. Where you get married. And some other offices. So the door is here. So this is the inside of it all. You can see. A lot, a lot of details. We got a little fountain going on here. The colored windows. Yeah. 
This is interesting. This is really found in the 1650s. So guys, remember the um, castle we went to? The tower we went to? This is how it used to look. The closer plus would be. Yeah, then we would be right there. Where right? yeah, the two buildings on the right side would be about here. Yeah, right somewhere. Here. This is the Oban Tower. Somewhere here we would be. This is the upper, upper tower of the city. Is, this is the church that we showed you first. And where my primary school was and stuff like that. As you can see, they had like a lot of drawbridges and stuff. Yeah. So what happened to the, the, the river? Was that a river? It's a river. They put dirt. They put dirt. So we had a river. We had a river right beside our house. Remember when we went by the school? Yeah. Right there. Right there. Right there. and stuff was the bank for the rich people that was here in that passage right here. Oh that's the old bank. Yeah. So right here so that was the old bank. So I can see that for a long time they have them them details there up on top. Cause this is from the sixteen fifties, that's crazy. And this is the whole thing. And the castle when <laughs> well, even the castle changed a lot. Yeah, that's really Yeah, the front buildings aren't there anymore. And the well. Where's the well? See the well there? Oh, so this is the front of it. Yeah, that's the front. Mm, okay. Yeah, but isn't that cool that they have something like this here that you can come and look at? So this is the back of the church and here you can also see they're setting up for the Christmas market, guys. So they're setting up now because by the, what was the date, the 18th? Yeah. The 18th, the Christmas market will begin. So you know, they not have a lot of time left, so they have to set up everything so you can see what's going on. And this is the back of the church. This is a Catholic church, right? No. Protestant. No? A what? Protestant. A Protestant church? Mm -hmm. Oh. But this was your church, right? The other one is Catholic. Oh, the first one is Catholic. Yes, this one is Protestant. Yeah, that was my, because my, to my parents, I was Protestant, so. Yeah. I got baptized in here. I had my confirmation in here mm -hmm. when I was 14 or 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. so we will try see if they're open so we can show you the inside. But before that, we're going to show you something else really cool. So this is the other thing that we wanted to show you guys. So this is like, you know, another map of the of the city. So you can see we were right at the edge of the city. This is the, the first church and this is the second the second one. This is mommy's church where we will be heading soon. So when we came out earlier, you know, we walked over the closer plus. This was my 
Wait, this was my primary school. We walked through here. We walked all the way up here. This is where the the um, bank is for the rich people and stuff like that. The tile house was inside this lane here. And the church that we're heading to is right here. But right now we are standing at the corner here. Yeah. So right now we are here and we will be heading to the church soon. So you can see church the right round the corner there so um and yeah the cool thing is that they also have it in braille for like you know the blind people and stuff and this is the the Schwarzenburg the castle that we went to where when we just came here we gave you a tour of this place and this is the the Kunsthalle then right so that is like the art museum and stuff so yeah it's like you know a nice little town but, <laughs> but from what year is this structured after it doesn't say right yeah but it's, it's i mean the kunsan is maybe now 30 years old maybe 40 so it is after that so it's a newer version of the city yeah, for sure okay all right guys so we're going to check and see if we can um you know show you inside of the the church so this is the side of the church it's massive um but it's actually not as big there are a lot of um a lot of bigger churches here in in Germany a famous one that everybody wants everyone knows is like the um, dome in Cologne but you can see here the rocks and stuff are you know it's been held up as good as possible for sure mommy said oh, what these are all the people that died here in Bielefeld from the first world war so there are a lot of names and stuff here. came initially from Antwerp in Belgium and it is uh, handcrafted of course and very old and I think what you see on it is real gold as well but nobody is supposed to go near it so we can only show you from here and that is a wait So this, this church has two orgs, maybe you can show them. <coughs> so this is the small one guys. bigger than the one in the Catholic, Catholic Church. Well that is a big one there. Mm -hmm. Can see a uh, lot of pipes. A lot of pipes. Look how massive they are too. I mean it has a fabulous sound. And the ceiling is built like this. Let me give you a wide shot. Mm -hmm. As you might realize, this church has 
much less like pomp and, and uh, statues and uh, a lot even the windows are much uh, simpler and stuff that is what is the difference between the Catholic and the Protestant belief because when Martin Luther uh, started the Protestant belief uh -huh. he said we do not need to show so much wealth and we, we are our religion is more natural more down to earth we do not it's show not off. yeah it's not a show off church so show off that belief. is why all protestant church in germany will be much much simpler than the catholic church okay so actually the altar is the only pompous thing if you want that this church has mm -hmm. so everything concentrate on the altar and this is the door so you can see like metal as well with some details on there so and some you know person who put some graffiti on there no respect on the other side as well the uh, Protestant Old Town Nikolai Church was already mentioned from 1015 as a chapel mm -hmm. from the year 1015. So that's, that's a long time. So that's it for this tour guys thank you so much for watching and as always remember to like share and comment and i will see you in my next video on tuesday bye